So the intention is then to package the cells. We've had these um, carriers CNC'd, so the cells will fit within this recess, and then they're supported centrally by another plate, and then there's uh, another set of these two to complete the, the overall pack. I've got a schematic of my battery carrier and I've marked it out in modules of 72 volts so I know which way round to orientate the cell, um, whether it's the positive end or the negative end. Um, I can see here where I'm going to be placing those within the container. Um, I will then be putting on the balance leads and there's a range of different lengths depending on how far the cells are from the management board. Um, so some of them will need longer runs, some shorter runs. I also need to put on a temperature probe. So this is a, a thermocouple that we tape to the battery and that will give us any indication of over temperature within the cell. So these are the bus bars that connect the cells together. We're running um, 20 amp hour packs. These cells are nominally 3 volts 10 amp hours. Because I'm running two in parallel, I've got 3 volts 20 amp hours. And then I've got four sets, one, two, three, and four. Four sets, so that gives me the 12 volts. So that's a 12 volt 20 amp hour pack. So that's the 150 amp fuse that's connecting each of those 12 volt packs together. So if there's any issues with short circuit, short circuiting or overloading, then the fuse will blow and the pack is safe. Okay, so we've got the battery pack together. Um, it's now just a question of feeding the wires through and connecting them up to their relevant voltage management systems. Um, I've got all the, the wires color coded and numbered, so I know which temperature sensor goes with which um, signal wires to check the voltages. Um, so that's the temperature sensor that's on pack six. Um, there's four blocks of 72 volts within this pack. Um, and I've got them colour coded red, blue, green and black. So that's my um, voltage management leads that go to the green block 6 and that's the temperature sensor that's the associated one within that block. It's just an easy way to keep track of what's going on otherwise you've got uh, 2448 different voltage management systems and without some sort of coding as to which is which <laughs> you'd never keep track of it. So for the moment, we just turn this on and then we can connect up the voltage management leads and if all is okay, we should end up with these LEDs cycling through once and then coming on permanently. Okay, so that connection is okay. So that's the data management card. So all of these individual voltage management systems, they get connected by a nine pin ribbon and then we just daisy chain from one cell to the next one and then from the next to the next uh, and then the last one will go into this data card that's then got the serial connectors that will then go into the next data card so that's just a, a nine pin um, a D connector that then will go into the next connector card down here and we'll have a very similar bank such as that block of six there, under here. That's it. Time for lunch. Mm. <laughs> Take some photos for Ian.